Hey guys, Dark from PlayStation Hour, and today I'm going to be going over one of my most requested videos, and that was to make a tutorial on how to use the video and editor and uploader that we got on the 3.40 update. Now, if you might have watched my 3.40 video, you probably saw that I had technical difficulties when using the video editor and uploader because it couldn't use PlayStation Eye footage and you need to upload your own footage. Well, some um, handyman on YouTube. Um, which I forget the name, so please, if you are the one that told me how to do this, just send me a, a message and I'll put you in an annotation down below. But um, he told me how to do it. So I'm going to make a tutorial with his knowledge, and um, I tested it out this morning, and it does work. So let's get started. First thing you'll need. A flash drive. Next thing you want to do is you want to record a video using your PlayStation Eye. Now the only way you can record a video with the Eye is to get a software called iCreate, which is free on the PlayStation Store. But most of you guys already know how to use iCreate, so I'm not going to get into that. If you have a question about iCreate, please leave me a comment down below. Now, once you exported your iCreate video, um, it will show up here in the videos um, section as a... Um, as an iCreate folder. So you want to open up the iCreate folder and then you'll see the videos that you recorded. I recorded these two videos. I'm going to export the first one onto the flash drive. To export the video onto the flash drive, you obviously want to make sure you have your flash drive plugged in. Well, that's pretty much a given. And then you want to hit triangle on the video you want to export and I'll bring up the side menu. You want to go down so you hit copy. Once you click copy, your flash drive will already pop up as an option. Just click that, and I'll copy it. Seeing though I already have the video on the flash drive, I'm just going to click rename, or overwrite and save, so I don't have more than one of those videos on it. You guys will have that option, because that will be your first time doing it. Next, you want to open up your USB, and then you want to export the video that you just imported into it. I know this sounds silly, but it's the only way you can get past the copyright. So you want to do that, then click copy. Now what it's going to do is it's going to not, it's not going to give you this option because I already did it, but just copy it and it'll automatically copy to your videos. Now you want to open up your video editor and uploader that you got in the 3.40 update. Now it's going to give you the option to create a new video. Open that up, and then it'll automatically get the file, and then it'll open it up. Now, add is the first option you have highlighted. You want to click add, and then you want to go to where you saved your video. And it's automatically going to import it. Now, once you click continue, it brings you to this very nice interface. You have your AB erase, which is a cut feature to delete um, scenes that you don't want. You have a text feature. You have a playback speed feature if you want to speed up or slow down your video. And you have a music option. I'm not going to do the AB erase because I want to keep this video in one piece, but I'll just show you how it works. What you do is see the A right there, you want to drag it to where you want it, and then you click, and then you click it. And then you want to drag the B where you want it, and then you click that again. Now what that's going to do is, do is it's going to select the part of the video and it's going to highlight that in green. If you want to get rid of that, you click OK. And it's going to give you the option, do you want to delete the specific scenes? I click no because I don't want to. You click yes if you want to. Now it's going to bring you back to the screen. When, if you um, deleted the scenes or if you kept the scenes, it's still going to bring you back to the screen every change you make to your video. Now let's add some text. Um, same interface with the cut. I'm just going to drag the T to where I want it to be. And then I'm going to click it. And that's going to give me the option to add text. Alright, so once I do that, I'm going to type in Eric is cool. Alright, so now you see Eric is cool up at the very top, you want to move that. So you click on it, and then you click edit. Now it's going to give you the option to text edit, move in, zoom in, or zoom out, or duration style or delete it. Now let's say you want to move it. Well you just move it over to your um, to where you want it and then zoom in or zoom out to how big you want it. I'm gonna make this go right here. 
Now let's say I want to uh, style it. I want to make it italicized. I want to keep it bold. So let's italicize it. Keep it bold. Um, we could add a shadow. No shadow or a box. I'm just going to keep it um, outlined. And I'm going to change the color to, let's say, um, blue. So I click OK. And let's move it over a little bit since I tile size it. And then there you go. So there you go. And now you have your text going from that little shaded in blue area. That's where you have your text. That's where it's going to pop up. And that's where it's going to end. I click OK. And there you go. It's going to bring you back to the screen like it always does. Now I'm going to add some music. You can only add the um, music that it allows you to pick from, which are just pre-recorded tracks, because obviously, once again, with the copyright. So let's just import track 6. Never heard it before, so this should be interesting. Alright, so once you add track 6, it's automatically going to import the music into your video. And that's pretty much it. So once I click continue, it's going to jumble all those together. Now you have your um, option to upload and to save. I'm going to save this, um, but to upload, all you have to do is you have to um, go through the, um, the uh, security stuff, whatever, and then you want to sign in, and then what it's going to do is it's going to bring you to you know an upload site, um, like YouTube, etc. So I don't want to do that, so I'm just going to click Save. It's going to save it as a title of your choice, so I'm going to name it Eric is cool. Alright, so now it's going to save it as Eric is cool, and I'll cut back to you guys once it's done saving. Alright, so now that you saved it, you just want to X out of the video editor and uploader, and you want to go to your video. There it is, my video. And I'm just going to play this video for you guys and show you the finished product. Test video. Alright, um, so you just saw my tutorial and I do this, now this is pretty much your finishing product. You have your music playing, um, you have your text on the bottom, you know, text anywhere you want. Um, so, yeah, um, overall the quality is pretty good. So, uh, you know, that is pretty much it for you guys. Um, I'm Eric from PlayStation Now, and I'll see you later.